Tomataki Oyasin. Jai Bhagwan. Namaste. Haush, haush. Oosh, oosh, oosh. Sana, sana, sana. Sana, 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 sana. Welcome home, my family, my brothers, my sisters. Oh. Have I told you lately that the weather here is absolutely perfect? I am certainly missing scuba diving and being underwater. I will have to explore here a little further. So far, the water clarity is... How can I say without insulting? It's not clear. There you go, how about that? <laughs> it's not clear. And I'm hearing from the locals that there are many, many great places to dive. And I have yet to walk into our local dive shop and have a discussion. I am sure in that atmosphere, I will meet a lot of people who are water lovers like me. Shout out to every one of you who are subscribed here to youtube.com slash I am an aquaphile. I am an absolute lover of water and it makes me so happy to play in the water. And it's very spiritual and perhaps that's personal to me and my upbringing and my childhood I have always made jokes and I'm telling you the truth when I am telling you I have learned to drive a boat first before a car <laughs> That is my experience growing up. And I have great enjoyment over those memories of life on the water. And that makes a part of me really excited and interested over the idea of continuing these adventures, especially egotistical ideas of traveling, perhaps diving in somewhere, somewhere very, very impressed upon my mind's eye. It is Dubai. Diving in Dubai. I have heard many stories of what this place is like and what artificial intelligence is like there and robotics and just the nature of the overall heritage there. And I cannot agree with the stories until I have the experience of walking on the premises, exploring the lands, shaking hands, <laughs> okay? That is my dream, is expanding my mind and specifically changing myself and removing the judgment and the criticism and the control and the sense of rulership attempting to identify and label and name things and think that I am knowing what is in front of me. This absolute hunger for knowledge, this nonsense, almost egotistical, materialistic, self-fulfilling, Hunger. <sighs> Perhaps I am not listening to the impulses that are given to me in the exact split second. And perhaps I am in need of practice at being more intelligent by Shema to this innate silent intelligence within me that is guiding me and often I am not listening and man almost every time am I regretting when I am not following orders. <laughs> I can't
can make light of those situations all day. However, I am one who I can say in the past that I am not always paying attention. And most of all, I'm not always noticing that I am not paying attention. The dissociation. Others name this experience of having a OBE, an out of body experience where I am checking out, leaving the body as a stimulus response. And often, as we have documented and noticed, these impulses, these urges, these automatic responses to Mother Nature or what we are witnessing and what is in front of us are natural and automatic and not necessarily something that we are worthy to be punished for. And often we are measuring ourselves, expecting ourselves to be a person 